this sound? Is it th or th? Have you ever been in this situation? The two sounds are confusing, right? I believe many of you still mispronounce them and don't know how to produce these sounds correctly. Today, I'll help you recognize the differences between them and know how to pronounce them correctly. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to Lango Learning System. My name's Lavon and I'm an IELTS teacher at Lango. Today's lesson is pronunciation. Are you ready? I'll begin now. The sounds voiced th and unvoiced th are the only ones in English that have the same spelling. In English, there are two dental th sounds, both of which are produced by compressing the air through the tongue tip behind the top teeth. The sound is th if you merely squeeze air and if you additionally use your voice th. Let's say this sentence. Some theories believe there to be things out there. We can see the appearance of both sounds in this sentence. The th and th are basically similar with the exception of whether they are voiced or unvoiced. The tip of the tongue is positioned below the top front teeth. The tip of the tongue grinds against the top front teeth, causing friction. Subtle contact between the top of the front of the tongue and the tooth ridge is also possible. During the generation of both TH sounds, the lips are kept relaxed. Now we'll go into learning each individual sound. Th sound is unvoiced. You can create it with air only. The tongue's tip passes through the teeth to make th, th, thanks, th, th, think. Let's practice merely with air, no voice. Think, bath. Author, month, three, north, Thursday, eighth, beneath, ninth, anything, three thin panthers in the bathroom. Aunt Beth has thick cheeks, thin lips, three teeth and a thin mouth. Aunt Beth has thick cheeks, Thin lips, three teeth, and a thin mouth. Th sound is very similar to the th sound. It is voiced. It's made with the vibration of the vocal cords. You can feel your vocal cords vibrate here when you say that, this, other, although. Here we have some words that have this sound. It occurs in three positions in a word. With the initial position, we have almost functional words. Them, these, the, they, than, that, those, though. In the middle of the word, we have feather, brother, father, gather, other, another. In the final position, it occurs mainly in verbs such as breathe, bathe, loathe, clothe, teeth. There is my brother from another mother. All right, let's practice these two sounds regularly to make them more smooth. Remember, for the unvoiced sound, use the air. Whereas to make a voice sound, we have to ensure your vocal cord vibrates. I hope you found this lesson helpful in preparing for your IELTS test. If you want to sign up for IELTS courses at Lango, click on the link below. These IELTS courses are designed to cater to individual needs 
and provide personalized learning pathways. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more videos. I'm Lavon from Lango Learning System. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,